Hello, my loves. Welcome to my channel, Divinely True Tarot. I am your reader, Annetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of Divine Masculine and the Karmic for the upcoming weekend. Now, please keep in mind that this energy, this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right, we're just going to go ahead and hop on into the energies and see what's going on. I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, simple, but this type of reading, you know, it's interesting because a karmic is always not somebody who is here to destroy you. No. What a karmic do is teach you the levels and the lessons of love. And divine masculine and divine feminine have to go through those lessons in order to come out a better person and be able to be a vessel or a tool for the most high to use regarding issues and love. Okay. All right. So let's just turn this on over. Excuse my mess in the background, but I am at work. I work at work. Anybody who follow me, they know. <laughs> so, anyway, let's let's get cracking. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's let's put that right there. There we go. All right. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What are the leading energies for my divine masculine towards the karmic and this connection? Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good of my collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will send clear and precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. Heavenly Father, I also ask that you will protect me and my energies as I offer myself up to you to, to receive and deliver the messages from the Most High. In the name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are the leading... Oh, excuse me. Let me get comfortable. There we go. All right. What are the leading energies of Divine Masculine towards the karmic and this connection? What are the leading energies of Divine Masculine towards the karmic and this connection? Please and thank you. Can you kick it out, please? Okay. All right. Well, we have three. Now I'm going to take them. Here we have strategy, rest and rejuvenation, community. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the divine masculine in this connection? One more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Magician in the mirror. Hmm. Woman holding a heart at the bottom of the deck. Hope, yep. Hope and love. Look, okay, this is what I'm feeling. For the divine masculine towards the karmic in this connection, it's making me feel as though this masculine wants to satisfy um, this karmic's family. Um, they want to present themselves as somebody who is, quote unquote, a savior of this karmic towards their family and friends here. It's like this masculine wants to win over this karmic's circle circle of family and friends here they're putting a lot of effort into it um also too it's making me feel as though this this masculine feels some type of um rest and peace in this connection with this karma it feels comfortable this divine masculine could be feeling very comfortable around this karmic in their family and their community and things of the sort okay feeling rejuvenated here okay now, for this karmic towards this divine masculine, it's making me feel as though this karmic feel as this as though this masculine is magical, that this masculine can produce and create anything that they want. Um, this masculine can make things happen. This masculine could, um, uh, uh, how should I say, can produce. Thank you, spirit. This masculine can produce the very things that this karmic require and desire here is making me feel like this 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 karmic feel as though this this masculine could do anything 
that they're magical, you know, they're and this magician in the mirror, you know, it's 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 it's, it's a magical energy. It's, this masculine balanced this karmic out because of what this masculine can do for this karmic here. And this masculine is doing everything that they can in order to impress not only this karmic but this karmic's family, friends, community, things of the sort. Uh-huh. This this masculine this karmic could probably have up to three sisters or three close friends around them that is influencing the actions of this masculine towards this karmic here. Okay? That's what I got. That's well. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what is supporting the masculine's main energies towards this karmic? What is supporting the leading energies of the masculine towards the karmic, please? And thank you. One more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Solar plexus chakra. Okay, this, this is the um, <clears throat> the third chakra. Or, yeah, the third chakra. And it's the chakra of will, um, self-protection, um, drive and focus in life here. Yes. Very focused and driven to please this karmic here. The blossom at the bottom of the deck. This masculine sees something special in this karmic here, and they're willing to do anything that they can in order to um, sustain or create or draw into them whatever this karmic has to offer, okay? It's making me feel as though, um, okay, I'll take it for the masculine, okay? I didn't ask for it, but they kicked it out, so I'm going to take it for the karmic, I mean for the uh, masculine. But it's making me feel as though they're trying to make a way out of no way, this is what I'm feeling. You know, trying to click clack things in, together in order to go forward in the future with each other. Yeah, uh-huh. Here we have joint stability, see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? This is what this masculine wants. This is what this masculine is producing and creating in this connection with this karmic here, uh-huh. Like I said, this, this masculine feels um, joyous, um, peaceful, restful with this karmic here. Yeah, I heard peace of mind here. Yeah, world deserve reward here. Yeah. It's a beautiful energy. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This this is what the masculine wants with this karmic. This masculine wants to have a future. Okay. A solid foundation with this karmic here. And they're doing whatever it takes in order to make that happen. Okay. All right, here we have heart chakra and shine. I, I was just about to ask with supporting the leading energies for the karmic towards the masculine. And here we go. Sh heart chakra and shine. This is the sun energy in this deck. See how that light is just bursting out of the heart space of this karmic. And then we have heart chakra of the heart chakra. This, this masculine makes this karmic very, very happy. Very happy. It's a lot of hope here. A lot of well wishing here. This is making me feel like the, the masculine and the karmic, they're coming together equally balanced in order to move forward in this connection here. They're both on the same page here. Yes. This masculine and this karmic is both on the same page moving forward. Yes. Bottom of the deck, we have challenging times. Uh-huh. Ooh. And then we have the divine feminine at the back. We have challenging times in divine feminine. So divine masculine, you know, you're on a break, of course, with your divine feminine. But <laughs> this is why you're dead set on moving forward with this karmic here. Because there's some type of challenge in the background with a divine feminine that you're like, you're putting the blinders to and you're just moving forward with this karmic here. Uh-huh. Y'all both, y'all both doing this. Y'all both, it's like y'all both on the same, that's why I say y'all both on the same page moving forward. It's because, yeah, this divine, <clears throat> divine feminine. <clears throat> It could be going through some challenging times with your divine feminine. I'm hearing divorces, child support, things of the sort. But you're being very dead set on moving forward with your karmic. Mm-hmm. It's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you know, if that's what you want. Okay? But the karmic will teach you the levels and lessons in love. And the reason why I say that is because a woman holding a heart right here, there is a lot of love that is surrounding this, this connection here, especially coming from this karmic side if this karmic is a female. Okay? All right. Challenging times is here. Well, shit. Let's see. What do I want to use? Okay. That hurts your spirit. Thank you. What is the challenge? <clears throat> okay. What is the challenge in this connection for the 
Divine Masculine. What are the challenges in this connection for the Divine Masculine? Let's see. What is the challenge in this connection for the Divine Masculine? Resilience. <clears throat> Excuse me. Resilience. Moving forward. Being very, very persistent and moving forward. And you see all of this responsibilities, these, these troubles. This is making me feel like worries, anxieties that is on this masculine back trying to move forward. This is why there is that pushing forward. You're pushing through. You know, it's something that's going on in, in this masculine's energy that they're being very, very stubborn. Okay? It's like they're being very stubborn to move forward. But it's a lot of shit on their back. They're carrying a lot, a lot of emotions, a lot of baggage here. A lot of weight of the, it, I'm hearing the weight of the world. These, these are, um, it's making me feel like, it's making me feel like things that, things that are still planted, things that are still going on in this masculine's energy to where they're trying to pull this along too. Okay. And this is why I said with the, the feminine energy behind the challenging times, this is making me feel like a whole lot of issues, plumber, problems, drama, things of the sort, responsibilities, kids, bills. Mortgages, things of the sort that this masculine is carrying on their back because they're trying to move forward. It's making me feel as though this masculine is trying to separate from their 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 feminine in order to proceed forward in this connection with this karmic here. And this is a challenge and an issue. It's being strong and resilient to move forward because you have a lot of shit on your back, masculine. <laughs> the masculine at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. A lot of responsibilities. I'm hearing bag lady. Okay, so you know that song by Erica Badu. You gon' miss your bus. You can't hurry up. Cause you got too much stuff. Now, some of these masculines could be bus drivers. They could take the bus to work, commute to work. Don't mean they don't have a car, it's just they that's their form of communicate or communication. Transfer uh transportation here. Rest of rejuvenation, yeah. A lot of them take the bus to work because they don't feel like driving through the through the through the traffic and shit. Uh huh. This is for some. That's a side note. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's like you 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 carrying on the things that you won't leave behind. They coming with you too. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the challenge for the karmic in this connection? That's way too many. Let's cut that down. What is the challenge for the karmic in this connection, please? And thank you. Can you kick it out? Thank you. Balance is a challenge for this karmic in this connection. Finding balance within this connection or within their self in this connection. Because this this karmic here, they're, they're, they're in the fog. Their head is in the fog. They, they can't see clearly. They can't think clearly. They don't know exactly what is going on in this masculine or going on. With the masculine in this connection here, because it's it's their head is in the clouds. Okay, they're they're in the dark. They can't see clearly here. It's foggy. It could be confusion here. This masculine could be holding this karmic into some type of or leading this karmic into some type of confusing confusing energy because this this masculine is making me feel as though this masculine is not really opening up to all the things that is going on with them. Because they have so much. It's like this masculine don't want this karmic to know exactly what is really going on with them. Especially if you, they're dealing with the past divine feminine. Peace at the bottom of the deck is a challenge. In this connection, hell yeah. Challenging times and peace. And then we have abundance is a challenge here. Uh-huh, peace of mind and money could be a challenge here. Okay, this is probably why this karmic is not really seeing things clearly with this masculine. Because this masculine is hiding... This masculine is hiding all the things that they're responsible for. It's making me feel like court issues. This also could be debt is what I'm hearing. Damn. So this masculine could be hiding a lot of debt from this, this karmic here. Okay. This masculine could also too be hiding a whole nother family from this karmic here that they're trying to get away from and separate from. Okay. It's making me feel like though some of these masculines, they're not telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth to this karmic about about past relationships, baby mama issues, and things of the sort. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Okay, let's dig right on in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about this connection? What can you tell me about this connection here? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see, 21 twice. So the 21st could mean something to somebody. It could be a birth date. It could be a date that you met this person. Something of the sort. An important date coming up. That reduces down to a three. So 321. So somebody's birthday could be March 21st. For some of you guys, yeah. March 21st, July 19th, April 21st, April 7th. I see the 19 card three times. Okay, that's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. That's endings. Reduce down. This connection could be coming to an end, and this masculine don't want this karmic to know. Something could, some, it's something in the background on this masculine's end that is jeopardizing his their connection with this karmic here. And this masculine do not want this karmic to know. This masculine is hiding things from this karmic here. Trying to move forward like everything is okay. Putting blinders on. And it's all kind of shit going around or going on on, 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 on both sides of this, this masculine here. But this masculine is very focused and have the blinders on to say, fuck everything that's going on around me. I'm moving forward with this karmic here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Holy Spirit. Look it, we have justice, Libra energy, and then we have the magician, Aries energy. We have the magician out here twice. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. It's making me feel as though this masculine is really working out, really putting all their strategy up, up yep, all their planning all their strategy into play in order to balance they self out or balance this connection out. Uh-huh. I heard alchemy. Uh-huh. Wisdom is here. Uh-huh. Look, king of swords at the bottom of the deck. I told you wisdom is here. Being very, very strategic. Strategy. This is this is this is very very strategic. There, you know what? This masculine is not operating out of emotion. This, <coughs> excuse me. This masculine is operating out of logic. This masculine is not emotional. This masculine is very logical. This is what this karmic love about this masculine, because they're very logical. They can figure things out. They can make things happen. It's like they, they can make things happen when, when they can make a way out of no way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They can make a way out of no way. And this is what this karmic like about this masculine here. Because this masculine is going to make sure that everything is, is balanced and fair. This is the reason why this masculine is probably hiding things that's going on on the outside of this connection from this karmic here. Because they, they want things to be balanced and fair moving forward with this karmic here. Okay. All right. What else can you tell me? And they can make it happen. I'm going to tell you that right now. This masculine is a magician. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He know how to, he know how to, he know how to manipulate that energy in order for things to work out in their favor. Uh -huh. And it's, and it's, I don't feel this malicious. Uh-uh. I don't feel this malicious. Not sitting next to this justice. No, the fuck it ain't. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> okay. But this is what this karmic love about this masculine. Okay. That this masculine will work it out, make things happen feel safe. This karmic feels safe with this mask because this mask is going to get it done and make sure that everything and every everybody and everything is on the up and up. It's a beautiful energy. Okay, what else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What else can you tell me? Okay. Look, the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment here. And then we have the Seven of Coins. Investment. Waiting to see if this is going to turn out the way that they 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 plan for it to and it's making me feel like yeah because see it's pinnacles in this basket and on the tree so the harvest time has already came especially for this ten of cups so they're in the energy of yes making it happen making a happiness come in 
putting in the time, energy, and effort into making this grow and go forward. Beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. And here go that King of Swords at the bottom of the deck again. I told you this masculine is not stupid. This masculine is, the, is, is in control of which direction this relationship go with this karmic. And they're very headstrong. This masculine is very headstrong. Could be, um, I'm getting a very militant energy. So they could be in the military, a police officer, security guard, um, you know, something of the sort. But I'm getting a very militant energy. It's like this masculine, they want what they want, how they want it, and they're not going to take nothing else less. Because their happiness, their complete happiness is on the line. Their complete happiness is what they put their time, energy, and effort into. Mm -hmm. This is why this, this masculine has those blinders on moving forward. Nobody is, nothing is going to deter this masculine from reaching the destination or the goal that they set forth. Uh -uh. It's making me feel like this karmic is along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Or, okay, I heard you, spirit. This karmic has faith. Yeah. Has faith in this masculine. What is this? The Knight of Swords. With the Ten of Pentacles. Charging forward, moving forward. This masculine energy is on the move. Making it happen, yeah. There could be some type of um, challenging information or challenging... Um, conversation that this masculine can have in the future um i heard finding out the truth could be a challenge or an issue here hell yeah with justice in the night of source yeah this masculine is going to come to some truth to find out some type of truth about they self or about this connection here i heard it's going to be shocking I don't know if it's a good shock or a bad shock. It looks like a good shock to me, but we'll see. Hell yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. So let's keep moving. It could be a good shock or a bad shock. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? Ooh. Since they jumped. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is some truthful inf information that this, this masculine could be coming into that they could have been worried about, having a little anxiety about. Yeah, you have the Ace of Coins and the Two of Coins. So it's some type of decision about a new beginning that is going to happen or that this masculine needs to um, make a decision in. But they're, they're um, really stuck in their head about... This decision or opportunity even that's coming in. They're trying to make the right choice. I heard your spirit. Thank you. This masculine is really trying to make the right choice here. But they're 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 stuck in their head. They're they're like it's a it's an achy, it's a mental ache here about if they're doing the right thing or not. Yes, the star energy, Aquarian energy at the bottom of the deck. I like that. I like that. Aquarian energy and a deaf energy. Woo! Things end so things could begin. This masculine has ended things in their life. This, I'm hearing ego death. It, they could have put an end to their ego death or put an end to some type of um, connection or relationship or even a job even in order to um, go after their dreams and wishes here. It's making me feel as though this karmic was a dream come true. <laughs> or they could have been wishing for somebody like this karmic or a relationship like they have with this karmic here. You know, like some type, like a dream relationship here. Yeah. This is why they're, wor they're worried about making the right decision. It's making me feel as though this masculine had ended something in the past in order to go after something new that they, 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 they feel like their dreams came true or their wish came true. This is why they have the blinders on moving forward. This masculine feel as though this karma is a wish or a dream come true. They, they're not going to let nothing stop them. 
This is like this masculine finding their dream girl, their dream relationship, things of the sort. And just, just, just threw the caution to the wind and was like, I'm not going to listen to anybody or um, anything that is going against this connection that I have right now. Mm -hmm. That's them blinders. Yep, that's them blinders. Look, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Cups and the hair fit. Very, very um, loving. This is love here. Okay, this is love here. This masculine could be could have found their true love or the love that they always love of a lifetime. I heard you, Spirit. Thank you. This masculine thinks that this karmic is a love of a lifetime. And like I said, a karmic is not always bad. A karmic will teach you the levels, of, the levels and the lessons of love. This one right here, yeah. It's like now I know what love is. Mm. Go ahead with yourself, divine masculine. Honey, hush. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's still making me feel as though there's a bitter divine feminine in the background. This is why this masculine got them blinders on moving forward. I'm just saying. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's clarify justice. Let's clarify justice, please. We have the five of pentacles. This is change. This is change. This is this is actually okay. This is this masculine that left something or someone out in the cold in order to move forward to bring change and justice in their life. They're coming in, they're coming out of that lack energy. Feeling like they're not good enough. Feeling like they're less than. They're coming out of that. This karmic is helping this masculine come out of that lack energy here. Mm-hmm. With the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, decisions to move forward. Oh yeah. Decisions to move forward and make an offer to who? Their dream girl, their dreams and wishes here to heal. Something that is healing, calming, peaceful. That'll bring ebb and flow and balance in their life. Wow, masculine. It's like you made a decision that just said, uh-uh, I'm going to live my best life today. I'm not going to wait for tomorrow. I'm going to live my best life today. Okay, beautiful. Holy Spirit, holy angels, let's clarify the magician. Let's clarify the magician. Yeah, you're going to have your happiness one way or another. Uh-huh. You're not going to take no for an answer, masculine. Uh-uh. Nope. Because you know you can. You know you can have it. You know you deserve it. And you're going after it. Okay, let's clarify the magician, Holy Spirit. One more. Okay. I see. Oh, let's take it. Five of Cups. This one wants to pop out and then the page of pentacles. You're leaving all that shit behind. Now you have five, five here. There's sadness and regret about the things that you had to leave behind. People, places, and things that you had to leave behind. But you have to do it for your betterment of your future here. Okay? It's like a coin toss. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. So you just said, fuck it, I'm going to do and don't. <laughs> I'm going to do this and I'm not going to do that. Six of cups. Because nostalgia, you want to feel happiness again. The temperance and the emperor and the devil. Taking over control of fear. Yeah, taking back, taking control over fear, yeah. This is also too coming to peace with things that happened in the past. Um, decisions, um, ideas, um, temptations even. Um, I'm hearing manipulations of self and others. This is coming to peace of the things that happened in the past moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. This is what's changing you. You're making peace. You're making peace with the problems from the past. P, P, P. This better not be no loan. <laughs> hey, some of y'all could have did that. Some of y'all could have had that. I'm just saying, but making peace with the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To move forward. Holy Spirit, let's clarify the Ten of Cups. That energy, I love it. Yeah. No more worry, no more wonder. Because you made peace with the past. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One more? Okay, one more. Oh. 
Okay. And I'm going to take them because, you know. Here we had a five of wands. Now you have five, five, five out here. These are major changes. Okay. Transitioning out of one state of being into a new state of being. Yes. Yes. And then we have the knight of cups going after love and passions of the heart. Okay, you're leaving all, like I said, making peace with the past and move forward to your present and your future. And you're excited about it. This is love here. Because look, you have the ten of swords with the three of swords. Okay? This is devastating here. This is a, a painful ending. Heartbreaking ending here. But you're, you're, you're charging forward towards something new because you're leaving this in the past. This, this heartbreak, backstabbing, betrayal disappointment um yeah and look how you're reaching out for that broomstick you was you was down but not out okay they left you for dead somebody did this backstabbing bullshit to you divine masculine and got the hell on and left you feeling heartbroken here this is why you're making peace with the past that's why i say it's making me feel like a divine feminine and i'm and i gotta say it you know i mean i mean it could be a cycle but i cannot stop but but look, I can't not help, excuse me, but to keep looking at this divine feminine with challenging times. That's what happened. That's what kickstarts you in this connection with this karma. Because you was hurt and disappointed by the changes that happened in the past. Now you have the energy and the resilience to move forward towards what? The things that you want and desire and require in life that will give you joy and stability again. Because it was lost. And the reason why I say it was lost is because you have rest and rejuvenation. Okay? This this card right here, let me get it up. This energy right here, rest and rejuvenation. What are you resting from? What are you being rejuvenated from? The ten of swords and the three of swords. New vitality in life is here. Divine masculine. Beautiful. I love it. Temperance. I can't make this up. Sagittarius energy. You could be a Sagittarius, or this could happen in Sagittarius season. Yeah. Out with the old and with the new, you're not going to hurt, be hurt, be sitting in that hurt, wallowing anymore. You're changing and transforming into your new life here. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Seven of Coins. One more. Thank you. The King of Wands. Taking action. Very confident. You got a plan. Thinking of a master plan. Hell yeah, you got a plan. You have a plan how to bring in the world that you want to live in, is what I'm hearing. Uh-huh. Creating the new world that you have, or the newness of your life here. I heard you. Uh-huh. This is why the magician energy is out here, because you're creating. You're taking action, honey. You're very confident that you can't conquer. That you can't conquer this, that you can't achieve this, that you can't obtain this. And then we have the hair fin at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Taurus energy. Very humble. And then we have the chariot. Yeah. It's making me feel as though masculine. You could have left a... You could have left a, a marriage or a, a traditional... Um, relationship here like i said out with the old in with the new okay so it's making me feel as though you could have been committed in the past you see how she's looking at the past okay having a choice to make to move forward and <laughs> she's pointing in this direction towards this queen of pentacles earth sign towards capricorn virgo Taurus is very strong so you could be a Taurus, or the person that you're leaving could be a Taurus, or the person that you're going towards could be a Taurus. But you see how he's looking at that past, getting the hell on? You could have been married or in a higher level commitment, a traditional commitment, something of the sort. Okay? Peace of mind. They keep saying peace of mind. You left because you wanted peace of mind. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, you were guided to leave, okay? Yeah, to keep the peace, to get your peace of mind, you were guided to, to, to make a move, okay? Holy Spirit, um, let's clarify the Knight of Swords. 
That's way too many. Mm -mm. That is way too many. Holy Spirit, we're not doing that. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords. One more? Okay. Thank you. The Eight of Wands. There could have been some type of confusion as to which direction that you wanted to go, but it's like you're trying to collect. You're trying to, okay, you're trying to, um, oh, what's that word? Death at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're trying to take back control of what it is that you didn't know or something that wasn't, um, you couldn't take a, get a grasp on. This is making me feel like emotion or, or um, passions. You didn't know that your passions was really nearly all over the place. And you're trying to take back control of your passions here. Mm-hmm. Because they were in an uproar. Uh-huh. Trying to create. But there's chaos in this creation. But you know, creation was born out of chaos. Okay? The universe was born out of chaos. Okay? So, don't, 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 don't fret my pet. You got the death energy down here again. And the eight of cups. Hell yeah, you know, walked away from people, places, and things that no longer served you. You cut that tie because you have a new love here. Either self-love or a new love with somebody. And it's making me feel like this karma. Uh-oh. We had an empress. We had, uh-oh. I'm going to leave her right there. That empress is still here. Still in your energies dealing with this karmic here. This is why that confusion as to what it is that you want to go towards your passions here. Mm-hmm. 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 Want to come back in out of cold, sad and forgetful. Yeah. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can't stop thinking about what was done in the past, okay? Um, let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Okay. We had the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I'm hearing you worried about, is this going to work? The Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Is this going to work with the Wheel of Fortune? Some of you guys could be worried about your finances. Some of you guys could be worried about a mother figure as well. Um, this is also too. Some of you guys, y'all... <laughs> Y'all up at night because you're thinking about your home, your family, your wife, and things of the sort. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a mothering, nurturing energy here. That's a wife, a mother. Take care of the home, especially with this four of wands. Take care of the home. Take care of the house. Take care of the kids. Take care of the animals. Take care of you. Take care of the bills. Take care of everything. There's some type of um, anxiety here about that up and down energy here. Are you back and forth in your energies? This is why you have the blinders on moving forward because you don't want to see what's going on on the outside because you're very stubborn as to move forward here. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the two of pentacles. What is the two of pentacles, Holy Spirit? It's making me feel as though you're trying to dodge responsibility, I'm telling you, this resilience came up in your challenge energy. Pushing forward. It's challenging to you, challenging times. Why? Because of this feminine behind here. Uh-huh. Are you trying to leave the past behind, but you still have responsibilities and obligations? This is why you have them blinders on moving forward with this karmic here. Okay? You want to go towards new love here, but you leaving all this shit behind? The heartbreak and betrayal here? Is this you skipping out? Is this you, Divine Masculine? Because this is what it's starting to look like. This is why you have the blinders on moving forward with this karma because you're trying to skip out on some type of responsibilities or obligations from the past. This is why challenging times with the Empress is here. This is why she keeps showing up at the bottom of your decks, your baseline of your energies. Because she's still here. Let's roll. Clarify the two of pentacles. They said they're going to kick it out. I don't even have to ask. Thank you. Can you kick out one? So I got to read all in. Okay. 
<laughs> it's in yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you gave me two. That's fine. Here we have the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups. You're so searching for your happiness here. You're so searching for your happiness here. You really, some of you guys could have went to tarot readers, uh, spiritual healers as well as what I'm, 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 I'm hearing. Yeah, very stubborn. God, dog, you want to hold on, you want to hold on to control. You want to hold on to the outcome. You want to hold on to control. You want to keep control here. But you're all in your head about who or what you moved on from that you put a lot a lot of time, energy, and effort into. You're still stuck wondering about is this the right decision? Is this the right move? Things of the sort here. You've been told. You've been told. Okay? You've been told. And what it is that you've been told, I do not know. I don't see it. But you've been told something here. This is why that nine of swords is here. Okay? Very stubborn. Very stubborn. I said this in the beginning, masculine. You're very stubborn. Headstrong. Thank you. Very headstrong. And you're going to move forward. Okay? All right. Let's clarify this ace of pentacles here. Let's clarify the ace of pentacles. Holy Spirit, holy angels. I heard you trying to prove to this karmic that you choose this karmic. Mm-hmm. And this karmic ain't like it. Because you, you, I don't know if you're dissing somebody or just doing whatever you need to do in order to prove to this karmic and their family and their friends that you choose them. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, what is the nine, I mean, the ace of pentacles? One more? Okay. Oh, I've seen that twister. Seven, six of pentacles. Reciprocity, equal give and take. Fairness here. You have a lot of abundance to go around. Hell yeah. You have a lot of abundance here. This is why you're up and down in your energies because you don't know if you're making the right decision to give to one and not the other. Seven of, yep, defensive. Seven of wands is here. Uh-huh, with the ace of wands. Yeah, I heard defend, defending the decision. Or defending an action that was taken. Very defensive about an action that was taken because you feel as though it'll bring you the most balanced, um, the most balanced situation for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you know, it's it's with this. It's, you know, you're going to do what's best for you. And this is what it's looking like you're doing, Divine Masculine. is doing what's best for you. Because you're trying to lead the past in the past. And you're trying to move forward here. And you're trying to move forward balanced and fair here. Okay? But there are still things in the past that you have to deal with that you don't want to. Okay? It's like you're just trying to escape it or just trying not to deal with it. But it's there. And it's going to have to be dealt with and handled. Okay, before you can even move forward successfully. You can move forward if you want to, but successfully, that is a whole nother issue. Okay? All right. Let's see. What advice? What advice do you have for the masculine in this connection? What advice do you have for the masculine in this in this connection? And then I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay. What advice do you have, Holy Spirit? One more? Okay. Listen to your intuition. This is this is why you're up and down in your energies, not knowing if you're making the right decisions. You have to listen to your intuition. Your intuition will tell you exactly what's going on on the inside of you and the inside of the situation that you're in this two of pentacles energy with, especially with the high priestess. Yeah. Yeah, especially with this high priestess. This is where I listen to your intuition is here because you 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 up and down about if you're doing the right thing, making the right decisions or not. Let's get one more. Okay, what other advice? <laughs> Meditation brings answers. 
So you have to sit with yourself and sit with God and your ancestors and angels and really focus on what it is that they're trying to tell you. Really try to get in tuned on, on the, the frequency level of the Most High. And this is how you do it, listening to your intuition. And then here we have no. So there's something in your life that is a no-go or there's something that you're trying to do that is a no. So pay attention to that. Listen to your intuition. Meditate to bring answers and clarity to your intuition. And then you'll know exactly which action, course of action to take. And then we have helpful people at the bottom of the deck. So you have people around you, angel spirit guys, and look for a sign. Oh, yeah. You have angel. If you believe, doggone. Let me tell you, heaven is trying to reach out and talk to you. Divine masculine about this situation here. And it's making me feel as though you're refusing to see or you don't want to see. You got them blinders on. Spirit is trying to speak to you through signs, wonders, and things of the sort. But you can't see it if you don't believe it. Meditation will help you with your unbelief. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what advice do you have for the karmic in this connection? This karmic over here sitting silent because they, what else can they do? They're just, I mean, they're waiting to see what this masculine wants too. You know? This is why they're sitting in this confused energy. This head in the clouds, this unfocused energy. Can't see. So they just going to sit here and just, you know, see what the mask is. See how this going to pan out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. What is the advice for the karmic in this connection? One more? Okay. Thank you. Ask your angels. <laughs> Pray. Pray and meditate. And then we have trust. Trust that your prayers are trust that you hear heaven. And no need to worry at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this is very, it remain positive. No need to worry and remain positive at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this, this advice is, you know, go to spirit. <laughs> go to spirit. You know, start practicing meditation, yoga, um, clearing of the energies, um, prayer life. You know, up your prayer life too is what I'm hearing because heaven is here. Heaven is helping this connection here. Heaven is giving you the lessons and the levels of love here. Okay? But it feels good. It feels like this connection is something that was um, orchestrated, that you were led and guided into coming into so you can learn love and the levels and lessons in it. Okay? All right, Divine Masculine. Beautiful reading. I love it. I mean, I'm glad to see a reading like this instead of all the usual... Divine Masculine and Karmic readings. It's like they are always in some mess. But this group of Divine Masculines and Karmics, oh no. <laughs> Y'all playing off of each other to learn and experience love. And that is beautiful. I love to see love, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it here. And I will be uploading this in a minute. And then I'm going to go and do Divine Feminine in the Karmics reading. Divine Feminine's very own Karmic. Not the Divine Masculine and the Divine, divine Feminine's Karmic, no. Divine Feminine have her very own karmic, so I'm going to tap into that and bring out some messages for you guys in the next video, okay? All right, so till then, take care. Namaste, my loves. Bye.